Hi everyone, it's Nancy Weinbeck, CEO at Bayview. Very happy to be here for another weekly message to our amazing staff. First thing I want to talk about is hazard pay. Uh, you may be wondering how long it's going to go for. Well, when we first rolled it out, if you recall, what we said in this video was that it would continue as long as the governor's proclamation was in place. Well, the proclamation lifted on May 31st. However, we don't feel that it's right to just end it as of May 31st. So what we're going to do is a, a slow rollback of the hazard pay or hero pay. So you'll continue to get the $2 an hour hero pay bonus through this current pay period. So when you get your paycheck on June 12th, it'll have the bonus in it. And then we're going to continue for one more pay period after this one. Um, but we're going to scale it back to a dollar an hour. And then on your June 26th paycheck, you'll see that bonus. And then that'll be the end. So when you get your paycheck in July, that'll be the first paycheck that you get without the bonus on it. I just want to say that not all communities gave hazard pay. Um, some of the communities that did, or a lot of the communities that did, um, had COVID in their building. Uh, but we never, at least so far as of this recording, we didn't have COVID-19 in the building, but we still believe strongly it was the right thing to do. So we're happy that we were able to make that work and we're doing a small, a slow rollback of it. So you'll still be getting the bonus through the month of June. And we are so appreciative for all of our staff and all the hard work you do every day. So thank you. Next, I want to talk about testing really briefly. Um, we first began testing our skilled nursing facility, staff and residents, uh, just for skilled nursing, and that was in partnership with Department of Health. When we rolled that out through guidance we received, staff were not mandated to take that test, and so we gave staff the option. But that requirement has now become a requirement. So Department of Health and DSHS now are requiring skilled nursing facilities to have their staff tested. Residents can still opt out, but staff cannot. So if you did opt out, you've probably been approached already by, uh, by your manager, supervisor to get tested. And we really appreciate that. It's kind of like the TB test. I just got mine done. We have to do that every year. Now we have to also be tested if you're in skilled nursing. Now the other part of the new requirements is assisted living with a memory care component now also needs to be tested, residents and staff. Again, residents can opt out, but staff cannot. So you will be approached by your manager if you work in assisted living or memory care or you have any um, business going into those areas of our building, um, then you will need to be tested. So stay tuned for more information on that. If you have any questions about testing, feel free to go to your manager and they should be able to help you. Last week, you may remember we shared a behind the scenes video that Jill Chang put together on our dining services program. We'll be doing more of those, but this week, we're so excited. We're going to share a TikTok compilation um, from staff from a variety of departments that Ian, the amazing Ian, in our dining services program um, put together for us. So we hope you enjoy this. Baby, come give me something on. Baby, come give me something on. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. Baby, 
come, give me something, oh. Baby, come, give me something, oh. the funnest part of this video come with me to my office so we can see who this week's two $25 winners are for a random $25 staff giveaway uh, so come on down okay here we go let's see who our first winner is for this week's drawing pick a random name <clears throat> and it is Marin Hanley congratulations Marin all right, Marin is in our wonderful food service department. Let's see the next winner for this week's $25 drawing. Click on pick a random name. And the winner is Amy Lee Gramlich. So congratulations to Amy Lee and to Marin. And we are excited to see who next week's winners are going to be. Have a great week, everybody.